For eight weeks, the biggest Stardew Valley content creators will be competing for a massive cash prize. They'll need to play the games in ways they never have before, fighting for power, struggling for survival, all while making friends and enemies along the way. Even the smallest error could be the difference between elimination or winning it all. Welcome to the Stardew Valley Trials. Hey there, my name is Wally Gug and I'm best known for my Stardew Valley Iceberg and my Stardew Valley Butt videos. Hey everybody, Leap a Lot here. If you've seen my kind of cursed content, you might already know I don't belong here. <laughs> so uh, let's see how it goes. What's up? I'm Brandigan and I think I'm the only one here who doesn't hate slime breeding. Hey, I'm the Habu. I do Stardew Valley speedruns and challenge runs, and I'm just here to make Z's life living hell. Hi there, everybody. I go by Shawnee Doo, but you can call me Shawnee. You might know me from my cringy, horrible, embarrassing Stardew TikToks. I'm really nervous, but I'm really glad that I'm going to be here and doing this all with all my best friends. Hi, my name is Party Arley. I go by Arley, and I'm best known for completing Stardew Valley Perfection on Twitch. And I'm really, really excited to be a part of the Stardew Valley Trials, especially because I am a huge fan of Survivor. Hello there. My name is Matthew McCluskey, and I'm best known for my Stardew animations. I'm ready to claim some golden masks. Hey, uh, I'm Therm. Uh, I'm I'm pretty incompetent overall, and and that is the end of that sentence. So there's my little intro. Hey there, I'm King Nublet. Uh, I'm best known for doing Stardew Valley speedruns like CC percent and Pans percent. Uh, looking forward to the Stardew Valley trials and having a ton of fun. Hi, I'm Rin Queen. I'm most known for being an absolute fool and also horrible at competitions, like this one. Bonjour, Lee Chaton here. I'm ready to kill everyone with kindness and offer them maple syrup. This is a fun group of people. Let's see how this goes. Hello, I'm Lee, aka a 20 something loser. Uh, I'm super excited to be here and to uh, get to hang out with all these very cool people. Hey, what's up guys? I'm WKO. I'm best known for being in Stardew Valley Mafia, and I'm ready to win the Stardew Valley Trials. Howdy, it's Raquel. I'm known for decorating all over Pelican Town and being absolutely obsessed with Sebastian, and we're going to use those passions to win the trials. Hello everyone and welcome to the first season of the Stardew Valley Trials. Let's go! Yeah. <laughs> oh, Let's go! Now I'm sure you're all excited to get into the action, but I should probably explain how this competition is going to work. In a few moments, I'm going to split you up into teams of two. Each week, all of the duos will compete against the other groups for a chance to win the Golden Masks. If your team wins this challenge, not only will you be safe from being eliminated that week, but you'll also get to pick one duo to send into the elimination. Also fighting in the elimination will be the duo that receives the most votes from the other competitors, so try not to get on anyone's bad side. The elimination challenge will feature only the two teams that were voted in, and the loser of that battle will be sent home empty-handed. At the end of the season, the winner will be walking away with a massive cash prize. I'm personally going to be starting the pot off at $1,000, but I'll be opening the prize pool up to be crowdfunded, so it could rise to a substantially higher value. If you want to contribute to the prize pool, you'll have the next eight weeks to do so before the live finale. All the info is in the description below. When I got the invitation to the trials, I was in shock. I mean, these are people who were in the Stardew Valley Cup. If they were in the Stardew Valley Cup, I was in the Stardew Valley slotted spoon because I'm not even in it. I just slide through the holes along with my dignity. I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty worried when I saw the roster for this event. Like, I know a lot of these names from other events, speedruns, challenges, whatever. There's some pretty big fish in this little pond and I'm like a tiny little anchovy. When I saw who my competition was, I was more excited than anything. Everyone is creative and fun, and for a second, I forgot about the competition. For a second. Uh, Habu terrifies me, but 
I think he terrifies everyone else, so maybe he'll get eliminated really quick. When I saw the roster of those competing, I wasn't really too concerned mechanically, but given that Z has a track record of making really weird challenges, I don't think that's really gonna help me here. So I guess we'll see. With so much on the line, I'm sure you're anxious to see who you're paired up with. So let's get to it. First up, we've got a couple of strong YouTubers. I think that they've got a similar sense of humor and could be a force to be reckoned with. Our first team is Wallagug and Ring Queen. Ooh. Woo! During the pairings, my head was completely empty. I mean, Wallagug seemed great, but in total honesty, I was just glad this wasn't like high school gym class where the team captains choose who they want on their teams because I didn't want to be picked last. Not again. So when I found out me and Rin Queen were teaming, I was like, heck yeah, well, we both hate Pierre, so boom. Brandigan has dad energy. And before the trials were even a thing, he told me about a new YouTuber who he really liked. So I thought it would be cool to make them partners. Brannigan, say hello to Leap a lot. Ooh. Yeah, I was super jazzed when I found out that I would be partnered up with Brannigan. He and I chatted a little bit a few months back about trying to find a good collaborative opportunity. He's a strong player and, you know, like a good dude. So I think it was a great matchup. I really appreciated it. So I got paired up with Leap a lot and we have two critical things in common a love for Stardew conspiracy theories and dog dad energy. It's like my grandfather used to say, always trust a man who has corgis. We've got another two people that I feel like are on a similar wavelength. They were both friends before the trials and so I expect some good things to come from Party Arlie and Brooke L. Whenever I was told that I'd be teaming up with Brooke, I was super excited because I feel like Brooke Allen and I are almost the exact same person. We are both super energetic and super passionate about Stardew, and we both have actually 100%ed Stardew. So that made me feel pretty good because I feel like we both have a pretty well-balanced amount of knowledge about the game because we both have 100%ed it. Party Arlie and I have been friends for a little while, and thankfully I've got to see her gameplay, she's seen mine, so we can skip the awkward chit chat and get straight into being amazing teammates to each other. Additionally, I think of being the only girl duo in the trials, we really want to win this for the, the, the gals. <laughs> Arlie and Brickell seem a little too nice for my liking. I feel like they're going to get me voted out and then make me apologize. I'm highly suspicious of these two. Next up are two guys that I think will have a blast together. One knows the ins and outs of Stardew, and the other has a glorious mustache. King Nublet and Matt McCluskey. <laughs> oh, let's go, Matt. Let's go. When I heard who my teammate was, I knew we were going to be a force to be reckoned with. Me and King Nublet are going to be a tough duo to beat. N not that you could beat us, but like, if you were to, it would be tough. When I was first told I was going to be with Matthew McCluskey, I was honestly super excited. We've played a couple games together and it's always been super fun to play with him and to have him as an actual partner. Potentially our highest energy team, these two are sure to be some of the most passionate competitors that we have. I'm kind of scared to say this, but Therm and Shawnee do, you two will be teammates. Let's go! Yay! <laughs> so finding out that Sean and I were teammates was great news. I was so excited to find out that me and Therm were going to be teammates. Although we've had a, a bit of a rivalry going on <laughs> throughout our years. Uh, he's, like a, he's like a little brother to me and he's one of the closest friends I've met online. And he just got this very chill and lovable vibe that seems like everybody likes. I think that his niceness and sincerity will balance out with my tendency to create beef with everybody who crosses my path. I think that out of all people, Lee truly loves Stardew Valley more than anyone else here. Your partner is going to be the infamous member of the Stardew Mafia, W. Carey. Woo! When I saw that Carey was going to be my partner, I was a little bit nervous because we had never met before. And I was a little bit nervous about the kind of chemistry that we might have together as teammates and working together. Um, but I know that I'm a very competitive person and I tend to bring that out in other people. So I was really hoping that Carrie and I would get along. When I found out that Lee was going to be my teammate, I was excited because we both have pretty similar play styles. So I figured that we'd have good team chemistry. And that leaves our final pair. They've had a small Junimo Kart rivalry going on for a while now, but I think that they can learn to put that aside for the trials. It's Habu and Lee Chaton. Let's go. I was very excited here when Lee Chat was announced to be my partner. Not only did she get second place in the Stardew Valley Cup, 
She has a much more casual perspective of the game than I do. So when we combine both my mid-max and her casual perspective, we should be a force to be reckoned with. Taboo's on my team. We're toast. Everyone's going to be gunning for us. I uh, guess we just need to win every challenge to stay in this. Now that everything has been set up, it's time to compete for your first Golden Masks. Your challenge today is simply called The Amazing Race. You're all going to start off right where you are now, and I'm going to send everyone a riddle. The riddle will lead you somewhere within Stardew Valley, where my girlfriend M will be waiting for you. You'll need to find her and offer her an item from your inventory to lock in your time. However, your team isn't officially locked in until you and your teammate both offer an item to M. If you're the first complete team to find her, you'll get 7 points for the round, the second place team will get 6 points, and so on with the last place team only getting 1 point. After 3 rounds, the team with the most points will be the winner of this week's Golden Masks. Be careful not to come in last place during this challenge though, because if you do, your team will automatically have one extra vote cast on you. If everyone is ready, hop in a private call with your teammate and I'll send out the clue. Oh no, the amazing race. Oh no, no, no. I've done this with Mr. Mustache, Maddie Mac, and you have to be decisive. So I've actually done an amazing race with Z before on his channel. So I have some experience with this. I was on a team with King Nublet and he absolutely hard carried me. The amazing race sounds like an easy challenge, but with the added rule of having both people have to get there, it's kind of hard to just split up and search the entire map. When Z announced that the amazing race was the first challenge, I actually felt pretty well prepared and I was actually really excited about it because I had just watched Z's amazing race Stardew video on YouTube. I knew that he was pretty tricky when it came to the riddles and whatnot and that they were a little ridiculous. Competitors, here's your first clue. <clears throat> Now you'll need to use your dome to find this place that the slimes call home. You'll get here early if you are tricky. It's no secret this place is sticky. Round one of the race felt like I forgot how to read or understand words. Riddles are not my forte, and even though me and Walagog both knew deep down that the mines wouldn't be the answer to the first one, we went together anyway. Okay, so we had zero idea for round one. We basically just followed around the pack. We went to the mines, we went to everywhere. I thought it was the sewer. I was so sure it was the sewer. When I thought of that, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm a genius. I'm so smart. Um, it was not the sewers. I have never and will never understand riddles. So I'm just hoping to ride on Therm's coattails for this one. Thankfully, Therm has done the amazing race before, which was good because I did not understand this challenge at all and have no idea what we're supposed to be doing. Because then everyone else just to keeps having, You're keep having food. What the heck? The heck? This is like when the story Oh wait, what? Well, wait, where's the, the exact same thing happened this time that happened the first time I did an amazing race, which is that my brain froze up immediately when I read the clue and I didn't know where to go. I have no right to call myself an expert on slimes if I can't get round one. A place slimes call home narrowed it down to four spots. The mines, volcano dungeon, the island farm west, or the secret woods. Ooh, okay, you go secret woods. I'll mines, go- maybe the sewers? Mines, maybe into sewers. I don't know if the uh, mine carts are open or not. Early if you are tricky. Oh, it is definitely secret woods. We need a we, we need a chair. A lot of people don't know this, but if you the woods in the beginning of the game, you actually don't need to upgrade your axe to get back there. Um, you take a chair and you put it on the other side of the log. You can hop over the log with the chair. So for the first round in the amazing race, my immediate thought was the secret woods. I don't know why, but it just was. Brooke and I would have gotten there first if it weren't for somebody stealing our chair. Uh, Brooke ended up finding a chair, getting past the secret wood log, but somebody went right behind her and picked up the chair so I couldn't get in behind her. Clue one was right off. King Nublet and I figured it out super fast. I grabbed a chair on the way to the secret woods as a precaution, and good thing I did because King Nublet made sure to remove the chair so no competitors could get through unless they brought their own. And so that cost us some time and we weren't able to get there first, but in my heart we were first. Yeah, I'm over here. I don't see her anywhere in here, but the slimes are here though. You don't see it. It's not by- Go, 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 go. Oh my God. We are so, listen, I I'm not trying so to say much. we're bad bitches, but we're bad bitches. Okay. I was like, you know what? Okay, let's go to the secret woods. I'll try it out. I saw a lot of people running there. So I was like, okay. And then as soon as I saw somebody running back, I'm pretty sure I was like, okay, we need a chair to get in there. So I ran back, grabbed a chair, 
and then ran and got into the secret woods, taking my chair with me. When Matthew followed, he brought his own chair, got in, and then stole somebody else's chair. Oh, I got in, just me. Nice. Took the chair back. Statue. I think we're gonna be first. We're gonna be first. Let's go. We're oh, we're first. We're first. We're first. Oh, somebody. Oh, they picked up the chair. Where is she? Yep, there yep. she is. I think we still did okay. Like, we didn't come last, but I was a little frustrated. There were too many strong players here to not be thinking a little bit more critically. We just kind of needed to circle the wagons then. I'll, you go to the sewer. I'm checking the secret woods. Immediately, Shawnee thought of the sewer. Uh, I didn't really like that idea because... I didn't understand the slimes call home part because there are no slimes in there. We thought it was probably going to be the sewers because, you know, the secret forest isn't sticky at all. No part of it is sticky, so it would make any sense for it to be the secret forest, right? Therm actually said he, he saw a bunch of people coming back from the secret forest, but apparently they're all misguided. Once I realized the sewer was locked, I head over to meet Therm in the forest, and thankfully we came in around the middle of the pack. It is the secret woods. Yep. see M? Yep, I gave it to M. Harry and I decided to stick together, and we immediately went towards the sewer because we were thinking of the secret tunnel over by Krobus. After noticing that the sewers were not unlocked, we ran straight towards the secret forest. But as soon as we got there, King Nublet straight up stole the chair for us to complete the chair hack to get into the secret forest. Oh, we're gonna have some issues. No, that is rude. Who's got the chair? All that truly mattered though to us was to not get in last place. Round one was a little unfortunate. We did end up splitting up instead of sticking together like we probably should have. Oh, that. forest. I'm oh go yeah, there. you go secret forest. You go secret forest. I'll yeah, go mine. Yeah, yeah. And then Lee Chat just missed M where she was standing, and I went all the way to the quarry mine, so I kind of just got there last out of everybody else. Yeah. It's oh, not... the mine carts are working. She's not oh, here. My God. She's not here. I'd figured it out. I should have just stuck with my gut when it came to the riddles. I can't believe I didn't think to go grab that chair and bring it with me. Oh yeah, she's there. She's there. Secret forest, secret forest. Yeah. Yep. I saw people running to the left, so after checking the sewer entrance, I followed everyone else there, and I yelled to Wallagog to come meet me in the secret forest. It is. Wait, it must be. It must be. Come here now. <laughs> come here now. Yes, it's here. Oh no, everyone else is here. We were definitely second to last or last, so we started off on a really not great foot. No, not everyone's here. Well, no, okay, the chair. The Everywhere else was closed, so I figured the secret woods was closed too, but I guess it's only fitting that the chair glitch was required to get in. That's kind of a classic, the classic Stardew Valley glitch. Yeah, no. I was definitely supposed to remove that stump before the challenge started, but I kind of just warped to where I was supposed to stand and totally forgot about the stump. It's fine. I'm, I'm extremely- oh, wait, that looks like actually everyone. Wait, that looks like actually everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, time for round two. Donations will help you here in this spot. Discard these treasures, you should not. This hint is final, it is the last. Things are kept here that came from the past. Round two, I thought was gonna be a super easy one. Treasures, the past, donations, it had to be the museum, right? After hearing hint number two, Lee and I both immediately thought of Gunther's museum. Apparently everyone else did as well. I'm in the lead with Therm. If we don't have any hiccups on the way, we're the first full pair. Oh, they're taking the cart. They're taking the cart. Yeah, exactly. I'm going down. Okay. And I'm going up. Okay. Okay, well, my first thought is museum. Let's just go museum. I probably should have gone the mine cart, but it's too late now. For the second round, I wasn't feeling very good. With donations, we obviously thought of the museum, but it was too easy. We got there, and sure enough, it was wrong. Dude. I don't think she's here. We've been bamboozled. What? Uh, what about the desert? Like the prismatic shard, desert trader. Riot. Why is it? Yeah. Why is everybody going south? Seems like people are. Oh, is it? Is it Professor Snail or whatever? Donations will help you here in this. But yeah, it has to be Pres Professor Snail. There was really only one other place we could think of where donations would be appropriate. So it was off to Ginger Island, which was great because everyone got there at the same time, and we all had to sit through the very very slow cutscene as we took the boat to the island. Oh yeah, no, it's 100 percent Professor Snail. It's Professor. Oh Snail, yeah. 100%. I'm going, yeah, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Oh, wait, the cutscene, the cutscene! No! It's fine, it's fine. I think we'll We're be sailing, we're smooth sailing. Okay. Exactly. Willie, take us there to victory. We ran in the sweltering heat of Ginger Island and made it in time to Professor Snail not to not be last. <laughs> Come on. Come on. 
Yes, okay, she took mine. Go, 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 go. Come here. Ah, uh, skip the cutscene. I'm, I'm ah! sabotaging. I'm trying to sabotage. Go, 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 go. Offer, offer, <laughs> offer. I got it. I gave it. I can't offer the cake because too many people are in the way. Oh, sh Yeah, me too. Okay. Me too. Wait, no, Woo! keep, keep spamming it to her to sabotage. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so Wallagog was sabotaging here. I, I will admit to knowing that and being aware of it, but I did not partake in the sabotage. Let the record know that. <laughs> oh no. We're gonna get like banned for sabotage. I'm not a part of this. I'm not a part of this. If we pretend we didn't know, we're, we're, we're innocent. There were so many people trying to offer things to M that it was really difficult to make sure our mayo totem actually got in. Go, 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 go. Uh, no, I don't want to offer it to Wallagug. Not doing very well so far, so hopefully we can win the elimination challenge, but oh well. This one was stupid. I, I, sorry, Z, but this one was stupid. Uh, minecart is open. All these fools oh, are running on foot. It's not the museum. Everybody. It's not? It's not the museum. Okay. Freaking what? It was so built to make you think it's the museum, and then it wasn't, and then my brain couldn't handle reality. We looked around a bunch of different places, and then we realized we hadn't seen anybody in a really long time. But we checked everywhere. We were freaking out. We had no idea what we were doing. I was at the Adventurer's Guild thing that maybe killing slimes counted as donation. We had no idea what we were doing. Finally, Therm realized that it had to be Professor Snail's tent. We dragged our sorry butts there as the last ones in. We could see everybody else there already laughing at us. We, we were waiting there, and one team, I think it was Shawnee and Therm, just would not show up. We waited so long for them. So at one point, I completed the island quiz. It's like, how many flowers are on the island? I don't know, 10, 20, 30, etc. I did that, and it did a pop-up in the chat, so I thought that I just accidentally revealed the location, so I was like, uh, uh-oh, I'm gonna be in trouble. Um, they still didn't find it for another five minutes, so it wasn't really an issue. It's so humiliating when you're just running around aimlessly and you see a little message pop in the chat that's like, we're waiting on one pair. You just have to be like, yeah, pretty, pretty sure that's us. And now, the final round. Sorry last round was a little stinky. This will be better, I swear on my pinky. If you bring your duck mayo, you'll be in heaven, since you'll be rewarded with a wonderful lemon. The last round, I was 100% certain, like right away, that it was one of the secret statues. I just didn't know which one. So I was like, okay, let's try Gus's first. If not, we'll go to the other ones. Luckily, it was Gus's. My initial thought was the box in area behind Clint, but after seeing everyone had headed towards the saloon, we quickly switched directions. No, it's not the Jojo. If there's a little box in the like the fenced in area over by Clint. Oh, to that one. Oh, that would be the one. That would be the right one. Never mind. <laughs> it would be saloon. I had literally no idea what this meant because I didn't know about this thing in the saloon. I didn't know about the secret statue thing. So while I was trying to figure out what was going on, I just saw a bunch of people running to the saloon and I was just kind of like, okay. And I just kind of followed thought, I don't know. Lemon is a food. Saloon has a food. And when I went in, I found M. And it was like, okay, guess guess I did it. Everyone's going to the saloon. Oh, it's the box in the saloon. Oh, frick. Get in here, dog. I I'm here, I'm here. I'm just following everyone. I was like, <laughs> he's gonna follow whoever's first. Round three was 100% my bad. The lemon and the duck mayo and the riddle, that was the key. I knew it was one of the boxes where you get a statue. I just couldn't remember whether that was behind Clint's or in the saloon. Where is this? This is the tavern. Uh, the duck mayo, right? Yeah. Oh no, it's um, it's behind the Oh, blacksmith. shoot. This was a tough one because I knew it was one of the secret statues, but which one is the location for Duck Mayo? I know it's not Vincent's room, but it's been so long since I've done the hidden quests. I was just talking about being a strong knowledge person, you know? No good. We split up when we should have stuck together, and it is what it is. Again, we did not get that first spot, but I still think we did okay. Both Arlie and I had no idea. We were just following the crowd. Um, and thankfully when we got there, everyone was crowded in this tiny room, but I knew if I kept adjusting up and down, I'd be able to give the cake to M. So that worked out very, very smoothly. Um, but a lot of stress, a lot of stress. Well, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go check uh, Krobus. I bet it's Krobus, right? No, 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 is this who we're on? 
Why is everybody going to the saloon? It's a saloon, it's a saloon, it's a saloon. Okay, I'm coming, coming, coming. Yeah, Emma's here. Okay, we're good. Even though everyone else seemed to immediately know what the next round's riddle answer was, I had absolutely no clue. And Walaga just said the answer. And I followed everyone. So that's how that went. Third one, once again, instantly, and I mean instantly knew that it was Gus's saloon. We ran there as fast as we could. And this is where, um, I accidentally made some enemies. So, yeah. <laughs> Wallagug sabotaged more, and <laughs> though, though it's not easy to admit, I did join him. We had to offer M an item to, like, lock in, and <laughs> me and Rin Queen got there first, right? We offered the item, and then I was like, I'm gonna do a little bit of a troll. I'm gonna stand on top of M, like, block her, so when people try to offer M, <laughs> they're gonna offer me instead. In the saloon, it was so hard to give the mayo to M. We ended up coming in last here, but we didn't come in last in the other rounds, so we were really hoping to scoot our way into the next challenge. No, I don't want to offer it to Wallygog. No, not to Leisha Thong. <laughs> Can't handle your request right now. Em! Thank you. <laughs> Unfortunately, we were not very fast in handing Em our items, but we were confident in our other rounds. It worked too well. Yeah, it worked way too well. <laughs> So Habu and uh, Li Chaton couldn't couldn't offer their stuff. They were obviously not happy. I got mine. I got mine in. Uh, Wally Gug. Why is Wally Gug in the way? Oh my god. Yes. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. She can't handle it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wally Gug, can move. They're cheating. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know, I sent it like five times. We also would not have been in last if not for Wally Gug. That was cheating, he should have been eliminated. On the plus side, the fact that we came into last, thanks to Wally Gug, maybe will seem a little less like a threat. I ended up placing really bad a third time, so yeah, just hope we can win the elimination challenge because I know we're going to be sent there. There's no way that we're not. And this wasn't even the first dirty tactic I tried. So back on Ginger Island, I'd actually had been spam offering M red cabbage seeds just in case uh, anyone else came in and tried to offer her and my request would block the other person's. What did Gug do? He was standing in front of M so that I kept offering my thing to her instead oh, of- Oh yeah, he does, he, he likes to like borderline cheat in, in like the challenges we do, you know what I mean? But as I was handing in my green bean, Wallagug was standing right in front of M the entire time, so I wasn't able to get my green bean in. I was so frustrated. That's so classic Wally. Well done, everyone. That was a brutal first challenge. Most of you did well, but there was one team in particular that struggled a bit more. The duo that came in last place, who will be receiving an extra vote going into the elimination, is Habu and Lee Chaton. But the team that rose above everyone else, who will be claiming the first Golden Masks of the season, is King Nublet and Matt McCluskey. Congratulations you two, you killed it. The rest of you will be heading up to the summit to individually and anonymously cast your votes for the team that you want to send into the elimination. Good luck. Losing the event didn't really matter. If we didn't get placed first, we're just going to be put into the elimination challenge, so... Having the extra vote on us doesn't really matter. I was just talking with Lee Chet for the first time, like the day before, but I knew I was gonna vote for them, you know. She literally said, you seem really nice. And I was like, okay, well, uh, that sucks. This was the easiest choice of my life. Cause I, I knew a bunch of people would vote for Gug because he like <laughs> blocked a few people in the final challenge, which I just thought was smart. But Shawnee and I decided to put both our votes into uh, Habu and Lee Chaton because they are clearly the biggest threat. And I just kind of want to see Habu get kicked out after egoing so much in the Discord. I think we're all collectively hoping we can vote out Habu in the first round and not have to worry about him for the rest of the trials. Then it came to voting. They were not happy. Uh, they, they were definitely not happy, which I, un I understand. Uh, I, I grieved a little bit. We got like middle of the pack, so that's kind of where we were aiming. We didn't really want to be a target. Uh, ironically, I say that, um, says the guy who made his entire team a target. Me and Rin Queen were like, okay, Habu, Li Chaton, they're voting for us. So we're going to vote for Habu and Li Chaton. I'm voting for Habu and Li Chat. I just don't want to find myself playing against that team in a trial later. Better to try and get them early, I think at least. Sorry, y'all. Sorry, Ring Queen, but my vote was simple after hearing about Wally Gug's sabotaging during the race. Whether it was true or not, this may be the only shot we'll have at voting out a team that strong early on. I'm going to be voting for Habu and Lee Chaton. They are 
way too strong. I'm voting for Habu and Lee. I'm voting for Wally Gug and Rin Queen. Wally Gug was blocking a lot of people from giving M their totems, which is really truly the only reason why I decided to vote for them. I am voting for Brandigan and Leap. I feel as though they will be a popular vote, and anything that keeps Lee and I out of the elimination game is fine by me. I'm going to vote Ring Queen and Wallagug because Wallagug cheated and deserves to be punished. Ring Queen, I barely know you, and I'm sorry, but your teammate let you down on this one. I'm voting for Lee Chaton and Habu. Habu? Do I say that wrong? Habu? I'm voting for Lee Chaton and Habu. Uh, I started drama with them. They are my enemies now, so I need to get them out of here. So for this round, I'm voting for Habu and LeChat. Um, they're just the strongest team in the game, in my opinion, and they're vulnerable now. They have an extra vote against them, so it makes perfect sense. Vote them out now while they are vulnerable. I'm voting for Habu and LeChat because as a competitor, they are an extremely strong team. It would be better in the long run <laughs> to, to get them out early, even though I, I love LeChat so much, and this was such a hard decision to make. It, it's, just, it's just a game, I promise. A promise. The votes are in. Leap and Brandigan, your team received one vote, which doesn't really mean anything, but it's still kind of rude. With four votes, Wallagug and Ring Queen, you also are safe from elimination. Wallagug and I got four votes. Honestly, I was surprised by how low the number was. I thought we were out, just eliminated. Um, I think we got four. I was like, yeah, okay, fair enough. Habu and Lee Chaton, probably some other team who had it out for us. You know, they're ethical. Fair enough. I understand that. But with eight votes... Habu and Lee Chat will be entering the first elimination of the season. Wow. Shocking! I had wow. no idea! <laughs> wow! I wasn't surprised with the amount of votes we got at all. It was expected. King and Matt, as winners of the Golden Masks, you'll now get to choose who you want to send into the elimination to compete against Habu and Lee Chat. Remember, the loser of this competition will be permanently eliminated from the Stardew Valley Trials, so choose wisely. We are going to instill some justice with our decision. We select. Wallaka and Red Queen. We were voted into the elimination round. I, I wanted to cry. I was sweating. I was anxious. And I knew my fate was right around the metaphorical corner. They put me and Rin Queen in against Habu and Lee Chapin, which was, I admit, it was very fitting, but I was also very annoyed because <laughs> uh, not, not confident. For our first elimination, we're taking a trip to one of my personal favorite festivals. Today, your teams will be playing Star-Crossed Star Drops. On go, each of your teams will race to earn 2,000 star tokens at the Stardew Valley Fair. You're free to earn them in any way that you want, but you're not allowed to buy them from the stand. Once both members of your team earn 2,000 star tokens and buy a star drop from Pierre, your team will win and survive to fight another day. The losing team goes home. So the star drop strategy was announced. I was like, okay, great. A completely RNG-based strategy. I'm gonna throw up. No, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> I hope I didn't go too early. All I felt was fear. The slingshots are terrible, and even though fishing takes a long time, I thought that was my only chance. So I went fishing and tried not to get my keyboard mouse all sweaty. Oh, slingshot was definitely the play. <laughs> Dude, are, are you like uh, these speed runners and I'm just here, I'm just casual, all right? Oh God, I went pull backwards. That was a massive mistake. Okay, honestly, I'm straight up. I'm straight up. I, I cannot. We're both really good at slingshot. We just need to win one round with perfection, get 500 points and gamble safe. Vote green with half and we got this. As long as we stay ahead of the other team, we're fine. Oh wait, I'm just gonna, you can probably win one and just try to bet on green, just bet half on green. The same thing happened as you said that. Yeah, I'm at a 96 Nine. score, I just finished. Uh, you can anyone. click through the end, just spam click through the end, I got 500. So we're gonna gamble? Yeah, just bet on green, it's the bottom selection, just bet half, half, half of what you have, so 250 if you got 500. When I heard it was just getting the star drop at the Stardew Valley Fair, I wasn't really too concerned because I could just get 500 points at the 
slingshot mini game over and over four times but i still ended up going for the casino wheel just because i thought it would be faster turns out it was probably slower overall just because we got extremely unlucky with the 75 rolls on green so we had to go back a few times i kept on fishing and once i got enough tokens i went to do the spinning wheel a lot of people know the rule of the wheel landing on green most of the time right well this game must have been hacked because i got orange almost every time please don't be orange today it is orange today i'm gonna go 200 i can't i can't i'm scared this was just another reminder that gambling is toxic absolutely toxic it took quite a while <laughs> we kept spinning got super unlucky rincoon is getting even more unlucky than i was ah screw it i'm just gonna do 200 oh there's no chance i lose on the one where i do 200 there's no chance that happened oh my <laughs> god no it's fine 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 oh my god there's no way i'm so mad i'm doing slingshot again oh the one's down to 20 we're fine you can you can just play it safe they're going back to do the mini game we got three minutes i had no choice but to fish again even though it took a minute and 40 seconds out of the challenge time fringe i swear if this is orange i will never look at the color orange again in my life oh my god I quit. I quit. I'm going back to fishing. <laughs> going back Good to fishing. luck. <laughs> I'm just going. I have 20 left. What's the point? Like. Just need one more win. Nice. Uh, I am good. My tears were mixing with the salt water of the fishing game. I was trying to manifest peaceful energy, but it was so hard because I just felt the loss. Oh, I see somebody got a freaking thing. You know what? If they win, they win. If they win, they win. I gambled more even though it felt like I should just fish since gambling wasn't working all day. And I was right because I kept getting orange again and again. Green, 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 green! No, orange, you freaking loser! I was becoming a monster. I was threatening the spinning wheel man. I mean, who even does that? If this is orange, you will die. Okay, it's not orange, so... This guy, this guy better watch himself tonight. If he keeps getting it on orange, I'm gonna come to his house. Okay, maybe I shouldn't say that. Whoa. Maybe, okay. I, should, maybe I should not say that. This isn't who I am. This isn't who I am. Oh, this is the end. This is the end. Whoa, oh no, I clicked out at the last second. I got no points. This is the least, this is the least <laughs> intense, most intense thing ever. <laughs> okay, this isn't working. I keep getting orange and I need green. We're still ahead. I'll just play it safe and do slingshot twice. I'm on a winning streak, baby! Okay, Lee Chaton's just gotta get very unlucky. Oh, Lee Chaton's going back to slingshotting? Do slingshot. I feel like you should do slingshot. I feel like even if you're bad at slingshot, that's better than a good fishing run. I, I bet basically everything. And when I lost it all, I tried the slingshot game just to see if I had more luck with that. And I didn't. Okay, what do I even do? Okay, let's go, baby. I'm ready. Shot. Got it. Shot. Got it. Come on. No accuracy bonus. I only got 34. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, but no. I didn't. Go back to fishing. You're right. Go back to fishing. I didn't <laughs> do it good. I didn't do it good. <laughs> Slingshot was awful. Really bad. So I went back to fishing. I went back to fishing with tears streaming down my face. Walaga got his star drop and so did Abu. It was me and Lee Chaton against the clock. And now I was stuck in my fishing game just awaiting my fate. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's just at 1500. This is the end. Right? Keep, trying. No, keep trying. No, keep trying. Keep trying. Don't give up. Don't give up. Silence. No! No! <laughs> you this know is what? the end. Maybe it was meant to be. Ah, oh, good game. All I felt was fear and tension and anxiety. And then. Lee Chaton got it. I had been defeated. I was last, and it was over. All right, good job. Good job. Congratulations, Habu and Lee Chat. You have secured your safety this week and will be returning to the Stardew Valley Trials. Walagug and Ring Queen, unfortunately, you have been eliminated. I'm sorry your time with us was so short, but I'm very thankful that you gave it your all. I felt humiliated, emasculated, like someone put a fresh band-aid on me just to tear it off. 
And you know what? I wouldn't have it any other way. Because I was becoming a monster. My anxiety and incompetence mixed together and formed a monster. And so with that, I am glad I left the show first. Also, how iconic is it to be the first one off the show? Am I right? Farewell, Stardew Valley Trials. It was great while it lasted. I wasn't really mad at myself, like, oh, I should have played better. Oh, I should have manipulated the RNG better. No, I, I didn't feel that at all. Shawnee do better get out soon. And also, a little trolling can sometimes go too far. No votes, baby. Not, not a one. Not a one. Everybody trusts us. Everybody thinks we suck. And oh boy, do we not have them fooled even a little bit because we do suck. Our goal was to just not get in last overall. And we succeeded in that. I felt so relieved that Carrie and I were able to move on to the next challenge. I'm excited for what's to come, but really nervous about future skill-based challenges. Overall, I think our performance was okay. It wasn't bad, it wasn't the best. I would have liked to get a golden mask here, but you know what? We didn't do that bad. We also got a chance to figure out how we work together, Brannigan and I, which I think was really helpful going into further rounds. It's gonna be important to develop that kind of rapport early and to know you know, your strengths and your weaknesses. Winning the first challenge feels awesome. King Nooblet and I will be unstoppable. Winning the first one, I feel like we may have painted a big X on our backs right at the beginning, but it still felt really good to like kind of give us an idea that we had a chance at actually winning the whole thing, maybe. We'll have to see how that all plays out. Good job, everyone. Get your rest because next week will be quite the challenge. I'll see you soon.